All right, welcome to a brand new one. Now in this one, we're going to be talking about Firefly, which is your platform to manage your entire infrastructure, whether it's running on AWS, whether it's running on Azure or Google Cloud. How does it work? First thing first, you got to integrate your cloud provider with Firefly. So if you go to integration, you've got a bunch of options. You've got AWS, you've got Google Cloud. Azure is also around the corner. You could include with, integrate with Slack or GitHub as well. And once you have integrated, as you can see, I've already got a integration with AWS account so that's why you see one and, and as soon as you integrate you go to the dashboard and dashboard gives you a holistic picture of your entire infrastructure doesn't matter how many AWS account you have doesn't matter how many Kubernetes cluster accumulates everything and put all the information critical information at one place so how does it work what type of information does it gives you so the first thing first how many accounts you have connected whether it's AWS or GCP or how many Kubernetes cluster you have and how many Azure subscription you have have got so it kind of gives a holistic picture whatever you've got working on hybrid cloud firefly handles it for you and gives you present information at a single place as you can see you get bunch of information now these are super critical information zero person drifted what does drifted means drifted means asset provided by the cloud provider is configured it which means it present it is present in aws however it is different from what is there in the state which means there's some changes in the configuration compared to what actually exists in the cloud provider or vice versa you have defined your infrastructure uh, for s3 bucket however somebody has gone ahead and changed something manually into the cloud provider or via gui so that's different codified which means 13 percent of my infrastructure is codified using pulumi or terraform and is managed by firefly 1.19 percent is hosted which means it doesn't exist in state it doesn't exist in the cloud provider as well so time to go ahead and check and delete them uh, as well now 85.38 resources are unmanaged which means that these are not codified these are not configured using terraform pulumi helm chart or whatever is appropriate which is a big red flag for an organization right this is really hard to figure out there is no way or very difficult to figure out how many of resources are actually terraformed or pulumi and how many resources are created manually every day we see that people run poc mvp and then they keep things open and there's no way whether it was done by terraform or not so as you can see as you can click on the unmanaged you see all your unmanaged resources who created these unmanaged resources as well when it was created location resources everything you can get and you can go ahead and take actions from here as well whether you want to codify it the coolest part is if you see that something is not codified let's suppose my i am role somebody has created manually maybe somebody doesn't know how to write terraform code so come back over you can click on this resource it is i am role at the moment you can click on codify this is going to generate the actual terraform code or whatever code is necessary for this particular resource or infrastructure and you can go ahead and either download it put that into your terraform file or you can raise a pull request so that you can let know let everybody know that you have codified something which was unmanaged either you could delete it delete the asset right from here as well uh, and then you got bunch of flags over here wherein you see you could check the misconfiguration reliability uh, you could check the tracing as well you could see the relation with git and you can see the history of the asset as well when it was created by whom it was created uh, as you can see it was created on 23rd and then it is unmanaged this is the account which it exists you see the configuration as well you see the asset history if it's available and comments if anybody has made it isn't it cool so you could just get a list of all the unmanaged resources and codify then and there and then either you can make a pull request or download the terraform code or pulumi code whatever is necessary and you can see that it can generate in all of the languages like python go c uh, sharp whatever is appropriate you get native support for ansible crossplane and cdk as well now let's talk about codified resources now these are the one who are identified as good resources in my experience wherein you've codified these like eks cluster amazon uh, roles volumes and everything is codified if you click on the codified you kind of get a bunch of information who has done the codification what is the configuration and a bunch of information around the resource all right now if you want to filter out resources based on location you east one probably is one of the highest uh, used location in my case so you can see that 
these are the resources there are 24 resources which is there in east one you can further drill down as well basis on tags so probably you want to see that whosoever has got a particular tag name eks or created by somebody basis on department or something so you could list down filter down resources basis on tags as well and then you could list down basis on owner team or whatnot so this is uh, super helpful when it comes to inventory now inventory is something like it gives all of your cloud resources at one place and this is super helpful right we spend a lot of time understanding how many probably creating a shell script or some sort of custom script to pull out how many resources is there into our infrastructure and this is super helpful and super time consuming when you have got multiple resources like mine i've got aws and gcp both and you want to condense down all of these information at one place now super cool feature you go to isc explorer and you get a holistic view that how many of your resources are actually terraform how many of them are cloud formation as you can see that what is the version of my state uh, where it is staying it is in aws gcp or somewhere else how many resources are being managed using that state file so you no need to use grep or awk to figure out filter out how many resources and you can click over here and go directly to those resources as well to see what are those resources managed by that particular state okay so we're going to go back to isc explorer again similarly it works on uh, most of the IAC language like could be Plumi, Helm as well. I've only used Cloud Formation and Terraform and works like a charm for me. Um, now, another cool feature which is super helpful you want to generate Terraform code, you don't want to write. Now, with AI and everything, you don't want to write code from scratch. So, you can go to Compose and let's suppose you want to create an S3 bucket. So, you could just go ahead and select a repository. You can just type in what type of repo or what type of resource you want and you can you can select from the public repository that whether you want an s3 uh, with role without role with load balancer uh, with logging enabled so you can click on this and that's going to give you that okay these are the repos available and now uh, these are the variable which it will be using and now you can simply click on generate code this will uh, as you can see it is generating the code using the AI and then it, it has generated the code now you either you can export the code run it locally or you can make a pull request which is integrated with your github and there's everything is configured everything is iac done so there's no manual intervention at will uh, either you could use module or you could use the gen ai as well that's what i was talking about so if you don't want to use module that's where you could use gen ai you can simply type generate terraform code for s3 bucket all right as soon as you hit enter it's going to read and it's going to start generating start writing terraform code for us terraform code is just an example as you can see it has not only generated the terraform code it has generated the readme file as well so you go to the main file uh, ultimately it's using the module however you've got bucket name variableized you could come back over here change the variable name uh, see the modules as well and once you are happy you could just raise a pull request and integrate with your do a github integration and as you can see i've got already integrated so i can start committing my code onto a particular repo whichever is appropriate and that's going to raise a pull request somebody can just review it and straight away merge and that's going to start running the infrastructure all right isn't it cool i would like you to go ahead and try you already get a trial version so why don't you go ahead and try and let me know how it works for you if you have a particular use case like drift detection or any particular acute problem i would be happy to talk about it in the next one Thank you.